First and foremost, we have Kaz's tequila bottle. Because my long anticipated Hades Town sweatshirt arrived. Which were sent to me by my insanely amazing patrons. Today we are doing the third and final bookshelf tour because I have three bookshelves left. However, I do need to go back to the beginning for a second because I ended up, uh, my first bookshelf tour was the bookshelves in my bedroom and I ended up, I had on the bottom shelf of one of the shelves, I had my printer there and like printer paper and stuff like that. I ended up moving the printer and the printer paper and putting books on that shelf and those books were books that were like on the shelves out here. So you would basically never see them if I now filmed these tours and those books just disappeared. So anyway, I'll go back to my bedroom real quick and show you that like shelf that now has books on it as well as like there are some extra shelves or extra books in my bedroom that I just like stuck on shelves <laughs> like that are they're not really shelves they're just like on the shelf because I don't I haven't figured out where to put them yet. Um, so I'll show you those and then after we do that the last three bookshelves that we're doing today are kind of like random ones. I shouldn't say random, they're not random, but they're like, they're not all together. Um, and it's kind of a big variety in terms of what I try to keep on those bookshelves. Um, there is some level of method and organization, but also very little. <laughs> so today we're doing the bookshelf that's in this little hallway area. It's like not a full size bookshelf. Um, this is the bookshelf where I primarily try to keep YA books. And then on top is where I have my TBR and then what I've read. So like, that's what I need to read. And then as I read it, it moves over into that stack over there. So we're doing this. Then there's this shelf that is like to the side of the ones I did last time. And on here, um, I try to keep the super, super duper special editions because it faces away from the windows. So it protects them better. And then also there's kind of like chaos downstairs, but it's basically like I try to mainly put like classics um, and super special editions on this one. And last but not least is the other corner of the living room where I have this bookshelf, which is just kind of actually random and it's full size and it's kind of books mainly books that I have read um, but that aren't special editions that I don't necessarily super want to have behind me when I'm filming they're not YA mostly and then the bottom is like genuinely the most chaotic bookshelf that I have in my house is the bottom of this this is truly just I stuck stuff there because I didn't know where else to put it so that's what we're doing today um, but first things first back to the bedroom so I can show you that one shelf and the few random books that are just like on the shelves as well. So these are the bedroom shelves. They're pretty much the same as before. I don't have a mirror here anymore, but like the shelves are pretty much the same. Um, but so down there, I didn't show that shelf last time because it just had a printer and printer paper. So we're gonna do that shelf. And then these like random books that I just, oh, and there's a couple new ones up there. So I'll do those real quick. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, a lovely, lovely human sent me. Um, she originally contacted me to send me Declaration of the Rights of Magicians. And I was like, hell yeah. And then she also sent me like a buttload of other gorgeous books. So these are three of them. Um, the other ones I put in other shelves that you will see today. <laughs> so she sent me, like, these are like, these aren't just like hard covers. They're special editions of The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed with oh, gorgeous sprayed stenciled pages. Pandora by Susan Stokes Chapman, also with stenciled pages. Just like, holy crap. The Betrayals by Bridget Collins, also with sprayed pages. And I have the binding, um, actually, I think uh, it's on the shelf that we're doing today. So cool, 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 cool. So anyway, these, these three gorgeous, gorgeous books are just here because I don't exactly know where to put them but I like them, so I like being able to see them. And then I think I got this after I filmed that tour as well. One of my patrons sent me this off for my wish list, uh, Botan and Other Novels by John James, which is gorgeous. Up here I have some new additions. This was all Book of the Month Club books, um, but I've read a lot of my Book of the Month Club books, thereby clearing some space. So um, a friend sent me Clara and the Sun by Kazu Ushiguro. Oh, oh, Clara and the Sun by Kazu Ushiguro. The Broken Binding Editions of The Ninth Rain with sprayed pages. And The Bitter Twins with sprayed pages. This is my favorite. Blue and orange is like, mm, so gorgeous. And then one of my patrons sent me this from my wish list: When Women Wore Dragons. Uh, down here, a few, I think the, I didn't have these before. Um, for the Wolf, the Fox and Wit edition of it. Also, the Fox and Wit edition of For the Throne. And Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I've got to move this chair, I think. 
first and foremost, we have Kaz's tequila bottle, which used to have catnip in it, but she ripped that out the first day that she had it. So love that for her. Sticky note, probably from a book. Wonderful. Like I said, these were books that I had on the shelves out in my living room, but when I cleared the shelf, then I moved some of them over here. I'm basically trying to get as many books that I have not read into my bedroom. What the hell did I just read by David Wong? The Child Thief by Brom. God of Vengeance by Giles or Giles Christian. Replica by Lauren Oliver. Carter and Lovecraft by Jonathan L. Howard. The sequel, After the End of the World. Mountain of Kept Memory, which um, I used to get this and Memory Called Empire Confused. <laughs> Frog Music by Emma Donahue. The Binding by Bridget Collins. The Wolf Road by Beth Lewis. The Alcrate Edition of Gallant by V.E. Schwab, still in its plastic. The regular US edition of Gallant. The White Tower by Michael Weishart. The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. Mr. Monkey by Francine Prose. Stamped from the Beginning by Ibram X. Uh, Kendi, Blood Song by Anthony Ryan, and The Wanking Fire by Anthony Ryan. So you're all caught up on the bedroom. Let's get back to the living room. Okay, we're gonna start with the little hallway shelf. As I said on the top is my TBR, um, and then as I read it, my teeth, the, my red, the red part of my, this is to be red, this is red. So this month, um, I reread the first few volumes of Sandman. Um, they have these new bind up editions. So this volume, or this, yeah, this volume contains three volumes, <laughs> uh, so. I have t read two volumes in here. I read Necessary People, one of my Book of the Month Club books. The Family of Stairs, another Book of the Month Club book. A Million Junes, another Book of the Month Club book. And Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, another Book of the Month Club book. Then on deck for this month, I still have Naked Empire, The Road, Speaking Bones, and Jade Legacy. First shelf from the top, I have a Creatively Crafts mug that she made for me for, I think, a birthday. Maybe Christmas, but I think a birthday. Uh, that she totally surprised me with. It just says Mrs. Tom Hardy on it, and I am obsessed with it. Then my little clockwork orange Funko, which I keep with my YA because of, I don't know, <laughs> because of reasons. I don't know that amuses me to do that, so. Uh, he's so cute, isn't he? Hiding up here, five feet apart, all this time. Original UK hardcover of Carry On. Original US hardcover of Carry On with the promotional dust jacket. Elder Race by Adrian Tchaikovsky. My Lady Jane. Owl Crate edition of My Plain Jane. Regular edition of My Plain Jane. My Calamity Jane. My Contrary Mary. Truly Devious. The Vanishing Stare. The Hand on the Wall. The Box in the Woods. Pride and Premeditation. Sense and Second Degree Murder. Fangirl. Special edition of Fangirl. New US hardcover of Carry On. Regular US hardcover of Wayward Son. Barnes and Noble edition edition of Wayward Son, regular US edition of Any Way the Wind Blows, Barnes and Noble edition of Any Way the Wind Blows, Al Crate edition of Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky, The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, Special Edition of The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. And the second shelf down, a God of Mischief candle, which I keep next to a Viking inspired book, a cauldron mug that was gifted to me as well as a little tiny wand that I don't remember where it came from. In the Hall with the Knife, Given to the Earth, Given to the Sea, The Monstromologist, The Alcrate Edition of The Kingdom of Back, and The Silence of Bones. Jacoby, Beastly Bones, Ghostly Echoes, The Dire King, The Sky in the Deep, which was signed and personalized to me, The Invention of Hugo Cabret. This is one of the books that that lovely person sent to me. <laughs> the Marvels, Cryer's War, The Madness So Discreet, The Alcrate Edition of House of Salt and Sorrows, Small Favors, the Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, The Winner's Kiss, The Unsuitable, The Hazelwood, The Alcrate Edition of The Hazelwood, The Night Country, Four Dead Queens, Scythe, Thunderhead, The Toll, and To Kill a Kingdom that was custom painted. Next shelf down, I have a random skull because I do. <laughs> Scorpio Races Candle and Scorpio Races Tea. Hiding up here, the anniversary edition of Savriel, the UK paperback of Scorpio Races, thin little paperback of A Study in Scarlet, and a thin little paperback of The Hound of the Baskervilles. Dread Nation, Deathless Divide, Wolf by Wolf, Blood for Blood, The Mary Shelley Club, Nixia, Nixia Unleashed, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, The Raven King, The Alcrate Edition of Call Down the Hawk, The Alcrate Edition of Mr. Impossible, the regular edition of Mr. Impossible, the Alcrate edition of the Scorpio Races, the regular US hardcover of the Scorpio Races, 
All the Crooked Saints, Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Defy Me, Imagine Me, and a stitchy Christmas ornament. <laughs> the very bottom, hiding up here, Odd and the Frost Giants, The Sleeper and the Spindle, Snow Glass Apples, and the Latvian edition of Sleeper and the Spindle. Sawkill Girls, signed and personalized to me, and the special edition of Midnight in the Everwood with spray stenciled pages. The Neil Gaiman Library Volume 1, the Neil Gaiman Library Volume 2, the box set of Lock and Key, Jazz get down. Sherlock Holmes Selected Cases, Mythos, Heroes, The Illustrated World of Tolkien, The Little Prince pop-up book. Now! Get out of here! The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland. The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland. The Boy Who Lost Fairyland. The Girl Who Raced Fairyland all the way home. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Nordic Tales. Tales of Norse Mythology. U.S. Hardcover of Nevermore. U.S. Hardcover of Wondersmith. U.S. Hardcover of Holopox. U.K. Hardcover of Nevermore. U.K. Hardcover of Wondersmith. U.K. Hardcover of Holopox. Alcrate edition of Bone Crier's Moon and the Alcrate edition of Bone Crier's Dawn. The living room shelf, the special edition shelf, I kind of want to save it for last, but also there's such chaos over there that um, you might stay for just witnessing that, that, that shit show. <laughs> okay, so special editions and classic shelves next. Up in the shop, they have a bargain copy because it was uh, ripped of the Jungle Book, The Library at Mount Char, Love and Gelato, The Written, Firebird, The Conviction of Cora Burns, Love, Lies, and Spies, Eaters of the Dead, a bargain copy of Court of Mist and Fury that I got for $2 when they announced the cover change because I wanted a piece of history, <laughs> Nicolo Rising, This Monstrous Thing, Boy, Snow, Bird, Malfunction, Disintegration, Connection, Radio Silence, Loveless, As You Like It, The Tempest, The Man in the High Castle, Macbeth, Find Me, Between Shades of Grey, Gypsy Rizka, Tropic of Cancer, Angela's Ashes, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. We interrupt this amazing bookshelf tour because <laughs> my long anticipated Hades Town sweatshirt arrived and even though it's really hot in here and I turned the AC off so it wouldn't make noise while I was filming, I did immediately put it on and I will be wearing it for the rest of the day. I will not be taking questions about that. <laughs> Isn't it also I had it custom made because they, they don't sell this so it looks like a university and then I had it made to say estimated since way back when. <laughs> if you've seen Hades Down then you get it and if you haven't well, then you should see Hades too. Okay back to the bookshelf tour. Next shelf down the painted edition of The Return of Sherlock Holmes the illustrated edition of Frankenstein, the bind up of the Chronicles of Narnia, the art edition of Jungle Book, the art edition of Beauty and the Beast, the art edition of Peter Pan, the Easton Press edition of Ivanhoe, Tales of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, Le Mort d'Arthur, the Art of War, Pride and Prejudice with the original illustrations, the 80th anniversary edition of Rebecca, Everyman's Library bind up of His Dark Materials, Everyman's Library edition of Mansfield Park, the Fairy Loot special edition of The Bear and the Nightingale, Fairy Loot Special Edition of The Girl in the Tower. The Fairy Loot Special Edition of The Winter of the Witch. Sense and Sensibility. The Woman in Black and Other Ghost Stories. Dune. Russian Folklore. The Buried Giant. Alias Grace. And Robin Hood. I stuff hiding up here. Another copy of Robin Hood, The Prince, and Frankenstein. This shelf will be a bit tricky to hold up each book, but we will do our best. <laughs> but first I have a couple candles, The Book of Kells, and Romeo and Juliet. I also have this Shakespeare mug that holds bookmarks as well as pencils that have Shakespeare quotes on them. 
Paper Mill Press Edition of 1984, Paper Mill Press Edition of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Paper Mill Press Edition of Animal Farm, Paper Mill Press Edition of Crime and Punishment, Paper Mill Press Edition of Robin Hood, Paper Mill Press Edition of The Three Musketeers, Paper Mill Press Edition of A Tale of Two Cities, Paper Mill Press Edition of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Paper Mill Press Edition of the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Paper Mill Press Edition of Jane Eyre, Paper Mill Press Edition of Wuthering Heights, Paper Mill Press Edition of Frankenstein, Paper Mill Press Edition of The Picture of Dorian Gray, Paper Mill Press Edition of The Jungle Book, Paper Mill Press Edition of Emma, Shakespeare's Sonnets, A Christmas Carol, Fly Away, Chiltern Press Frankenstein, Jane Eyre, Ivanhoe, Sleepy Hollow, Ella Enchanted, Deathless, the Indigo Edition of Song of Achilles, 1984, East of Eden, The Grapes of Wrath, Billy Liar, The Autobiography of Ben Franklin, Gulliver's Travels, Oliver Twist, The Child's History of England by Charles Dickens, The Secret of the Old Clock, The Clue in the Ivy, and The Secret History, The Collected Works of William Shakespeare, My Cousin Rachel, Ring Shout, The Secret History, I, Claudius, Cold Comfort Farm, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, Twelve Years a Slave, White Noise, Ceremony, The Joy Luck Club, The Little Friend, The Secret History, Rebecca, My Cousin Rachel, Frenchman's Creek, Jamaica Inn. Next shelf down, we're getting into the fancy special editions. I also have a candle that was inspired by uh, the Diabolic. The Subterranean Press Edition of A Little Hatred. The Folio Society Edition of American Gods. The Folio Society Editions of The Book of the New Sun which were sent to me by my insanely amazing patrons. <laughs> this is Shadow and Claw, and Sword and Citadel. The Eastern Press edition of American Gods, still in its plastic. The Eastern Press edition of Anansi Boys, still in its plastic. The Eastern Press edition of Ocean at the End of the Lane, not still in its plastic. Hiding up here is the illustrated edition of Good Omens, the Eastern Press edition of The Hobbit, the Eastern Press edition of The Fellowship of the Ring, the Eastern Press edition of The Two Towers, the Eastern Press edition of The Return of the King, the Eastern Press edition of The Silmarillion, the special illustrated edition of The Lord of the Rings, still in its original plastic. The Eastern Press edition of The Graveyard Book, still in its original plastic. The Illumicrate edition of The Last Wish. Special edition of The Song of Achilles. Special edition of Dune. The Illumicrate edition of This Woven Kingdom. Some Strange the Dreamer pins that were sent to me by Hillary from Book Farm. The Lit Joy Crate box set of the Strange the Dreamer duology. Strange the Dreamer and the Muse of Nightmares. The next shelf down, I have this mug that has the spines of some fantasy classics. The Illumicrate Special Edition of Daughter of Smoke and Bone. The Illumicrate Special Edition of Days of Blood and Starlight. The Illumicrate Special Edition of Dreams of Gods and Monsters, Lips Touch Three Times, A Night of Cake and Puppets, Fire and Blood, The Juniper Edition of A Game of Thrones, The Juniper Edition of A Clash of Kings, The Juniper Edition of A Storm of Swords, The Juniper Edition of A Feast for Crows, The Juniper Edition of A Dance with Dragons, The Barnes and Noble Special Edition of Red Rising, The Juniper Edition of Red Rising, The Juniper Edition of Golden Sun, the Juniper Edition of Morning Star, the Subterranean Press Edition of Red Rising, the Subterranean Press Edition of Golden Sun, the Subterranean Press Edition of Morning Star, the Subterranean Press Edition of Iron Gold, the Subterranean Press Edition of Dark Age. The very bottom is kind of a disaster and it does not have any rhyme or reason to what's down here. Um, so here we go. The Marlowe Papers, Winter's Tale, Suitors and Sabotage, Dream Strider, The Nickel Boys, the Love That Split the World, The Only Good Indians, Sadie, The Enchanted, A Year of Shadows, The Iron Trial, The Copper Gauntlet, A Monster Calls, and The Ocean Was Our Sky. Printer's Devil Court, The Traveling Bag, The Woman in Black, Boomerang, The Spartacus War, The Color of Law, The Color of Money, We Were Eight Years in Power, The Third Horseman, Race After Technology, The Chiltern Edition of Sense and Sensibility, Paper Mail Edition of Treasure Island, Paper Mail Edition of Great Expectations, Paper Mail Edition of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Alice's Adventures Underground, 
Berserker, Echo North, Salt to the Sea, Grace and Fury, Queen of Ruin, To Kill a Mockingbird, Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance, She Rises, Stormrise, Just Ella, The Latvian Edition of Ocean at the End of the Lane, State of Sorrow, The Wolf Wilder, The Wind in the Willows, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Peter Pan, Robin Hood, The Wizard of Oz, Black Beauty. The Adventure Collection, Treasure Island, The Jungle Book, Gulliver's Travels, White Fang, and Robin Hood. Last but not least is the corner shelf, which is truly the randomest of all. But before we do that, real quick, I just got these two days ago. Have not figured out where to shelf them. Uh, Fury Song, which is the third book um, in the, what is the, Aurelian Cycle? Aurelian Cycle. Um, I, one of my patrons sent me this, as well as the Chiltern Edition of Jane Eyre, which is freaking stunning. So this will somehow go on my classic shelf. <laughs> This I'll probably put my bedroom somewhere because it's unread, but they're here right now. Oh, and over here by my reading chair, I have I have the second bind up and the third bind up of Sandman. I still need the fourth one and then I'll have all of Sandman. At the very top, we have complete randomness, as usual. Phoenix Unbound, Dragon Unleashed, the book I never shut up about, Radiance, Adelon, Master of Crows, Entreat Me, Trick, Four Dead Queens, Lady's Guide to Etiquette and Murder, An Ark of the Smoke Thieves, Winter's Tale, The Affair of the Mysterious Letter, The Muse, The Song of Achilles, Duels and Deception, The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, The Winner's Kiss, Winter Spell, The Wolf and the Whale, City of Girls. And these bookends are my Daughter of Smoke and Bone bookends that came with the special editions. First shelf from the top, the mini Funko of Zero, which used to go with a set, but cows broke the set. Angela's Ashes, Tiz, Teacher Man, the Illustrated Edition of Assassin's Apprentice, The Illustrated Edition of Royal Assassin, The Illustrated Edition of Assassin's Quest, Trinity Rising, The Raven's Shadow, The Eyes of the Dragon, By Force Alone, The Near Witch, The Forbidden Planet Edition of The Near Witch, The Barnes and Noble Edition of The Near Witch, The Original Hardcover of Vicious, Vengeful, The New Hardcover of Vicious, The Alcrate Edition of Vengeful, Barnes and Noble Edition of A Darker Shade of Magic, The Barnes and Noble Edition of A Gathering of Shadows, or well, I've been saying Barnes & Noble. These are not Barnes & Noble. These are just collector's editions <laughs> of these books uh, and the collector's edition of A Conjuring of Light. The next one down, I have a mug from Creatively Crafts for Vicious, the Tour Essentials edition of Shadow & Claw, the Tour Essentials edition of Sword & Citadel, U.S. paperback of The Blade Itself, the original U.S. paperback of The Blade Itself, the original U.S. paperback of Before They Are Hanged, the original U.S. paperback of The Last Argument of Kings, U.S. Arc of A Little Hatred, the original paperback of The Last Witch, the original paperback of Blood of Elves, Dawn of Wonder, Wizard's First Rule, The Diabolic, An Arc of The Golden Wolf, a bind-up of The Black Company, Shadows Linger, and The White Rose, the U.K. paperback of Nosferatu, The Savage Song, a customized painted edition of The Savage Song, Our Dark Duet, the U.K. edition of Vicious, the Illumicrate edition of Vicious, the UK edition of Vengeful, the Illumicrate edition of Vengeful. Next shelf down, I have some custom made coasters that say the Waystone Inn on them, and the back of them forms a map of the world of King Killer. A friend made these for me. An authentic Viking sax, which was given to me by a friend and can do some real damage. <laughs> and you guessed it, another Creatively Crafts mug, a Viking inspired one, or Vikings, the show inspired one. The space between life and death. That's where we are the most alive. And a kitty, a specially destructive one. Can you get down from there? We can't see the books. What are you gonna do? Huh? You having a good time? Now what? How are you gonna get down? UK paperback of Blackwing, US arc of Blackwing, my Sister the Serial Killer, Something Wicked This Way Comes, Iron Foot, The Paper Menagerie, Gullstruck Island, An Ark of the Wolf, The Wolf of Orinyaro, The Ikasar Falcon, The Dragon of Jin Seyeng, The First Girl Child, Raven Cry, Crowfall, The Fifth Season, The Obelisk Gate, The Stone Sky, The Killing Moon, Norse Mythology, The Bard's Blade, Furyborn, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising, Six of Crows. On the next one down, we have some more mugs. This mug is inspired by Crimson Peak. Perfection has no place in love. The bloody bottom. And it's double-sided. A mega pint uh, that says, Blood of my enemies. And the classic toss a coin to your witcher, O Valley of Plenty. 
fuck off, bard. And a little coin to toss to said witcher. Clockwork angel, clockwork prince, clockwork princess, me and the devil, defy me, riddle of the runes, the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy, sleeping murder, Hyperion, theft of swords, rise of empire, heir of Navron, the crown tower, the rose and the thorn, the death of Dolga, the disappearance of winter's daughter, season of storms, the last wish, the sword of destiny, the blood of elves, the time of contempt, baptism of fire, tower of swallows, lady of the lake. Second from the bottom, I have some room spray that I don't think I've ever used. The Last Nemsara, The Queens of Innis Lear, Dunbar, Butcher Baker, Vampire Slayer, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, The Return of the King, Sons of the Dawn, The Hobbit, also The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, The Return of the King, The Children of Huron, The Queen of the Tearling, The Secret Place, Faithful Place, The Grace of Kings, The Wall of Storms, The Veiled Throne, The Helm of Midnight, These Shallow Graves and the bottom shelf, which is the most chaotic of them all. Kinda like you! Boop! 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 Gotcha! Wanna play with this? Can you move? Can you move? So first and foremost, we have some old bottles that I just think are pretty, so I don't want to throw them away. They are empty. This is a mead bottle. Uh, which I may use as a vase someday if I ever actually buy flowers. And this is an empty bottle of Riga Smell Nice Balsams, but with the uh, black currant flavoring. It is Latvian and it is delicious. Yeah, it's it's chaos down here. An arc of Phoenix Extravagant, Macbeth the graphic novel, In the Night Garden, Shakespeare Lexicon and Quotation Dictionary, Shakespeare Lexicon and Quotation Dictionary Volume 1, the other one is Volume 2. Bitch Planet Book 2, Bitch Planet Book 1, Kill Shakespeare, I Hate Fairyland, Umbrella Academy Volume 1, Umbrella Academy Volume 2, Umbrella Academy Volume 3, Parable of the Sower, the graphic novel, Ivanhoe, The Complete Tarzan, and Audrey Hepburn photographs from Breakfast at Tiffany's, The Wizard of Earthsea, Liquid Crystal Nightingale, An Ark of Broken Things, Mage Order, An Ark of House of Salt and Sorrows, An Ark of the Hazelwood, An Ark of Crier's War, Audrey Hepburn book, Doomed Queens, Twelfth Night, Isle of Blood and Stone, a storytelling card game called The Hollow Woods, The Two Princesses of Bamar, Dating Hamlet, The Wonder, The Wager, Nutshell. Freedom is, Freedom is a Constant Struggle, The Third Chimpanzee, An Ark of Nixia, An Ark of the Loneliest Girl in the Universe, An Ark of the Heart in a Body in the World, An Ark of Sawkill Girls, an Arc of Black Wings Beating, An Arc of Red Skies Falling, An Arc of the Raven Boys, An Arc of Furyborn, An Arc of An Ember in the Ashes, which Saba Tahir defaced herself, An Arc of Lifelike, Irresistible, Trouble is What I Do, Watch Over Me, Once in Future, All Systems Red, and Hansel and Gretel by Neil Gaiman and Lorenzo Matotti. And that will about do it. I am very excited to turn on the AC and go edit this now. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, that's it. No more bookshelf tours, ever. I will be getting more books and I'll probably get different bookshelves some point in my life, but I will never film another bookshelf tour because, oh my God. I, I, I'm like, oh, let me just, let me just film that real quick. That'll be no biggie. No, it's a biggie and I hurt everywhere. Okay, so hope you appreciate it. And if you don't, well, well that's not very nice. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about stuff and things in the comments down below, and I'll see you for a not bookshelf tour very soon. <laughs> Bye.